Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live Saturday, October 21st, 2023. I'm out here in Hickory Haven, that's where I store all my hickory at, trying to rebuild my inventory. You see, I need to fill up this area right here, and uh, I'm hoping this is enough I can enough to do it with. Those there I got from Scotty, and then these here Mike brought me the other day. Mike also brought me uh, those. I think I'll save those for tomorrow. We finally got a break in the rain. It's been raining about every day, I don't know, for like f the last 40 days and 40 nights, it seems like. But uh, while there's a little break in the action, I'm going to come and get this split. I'll probably just, like I say, just do this pile right here real quick. And time is limited because I looked at the radar and it's coming. But as you can see, there's Brad McGurk. I got to fill that up and I got to fill that up. I got to fill that up. So uh, I got to get that done. So m no better time than the present while there's a break in the rain. Now I know how Brad felt this summer. How this guy felt. How he felt this summer. Rain, rain, go away. It was real dry here in, in June. But now we've, uh, we've got a surplus in rain. No, no longer on our... Uh, Blood warning so I don't know how long this video will be about maybe 15 20 minutes because that's how long get them thumbs up coming I see him I see him <clears throat> Rogala he's been awful quiet lately I would have I would have liked to go live yesterday but it was raining all day I'm gonna put this hood up because it is uh, it's a little chilly out here it's in the low 40s gotta get ready for the Michigan Michigan State game Oh yeah, and Brad and I got a bet coming on tomorrow, 1 p.m. Lions at Ravens, go Lions! I uh, we have a little bet going on with put a poll on my YouTube yesterday. Looks like uh, most people are going with uh, Detroit and uh, and uh, the um, Michigan, but I think it all boils down to tomorrow's game. There's like a 95% chance Michigan's going to beat Maryland. I know a tie man agrees with that. He's probably cheering for Michigan. The Ohio Buckeye fan. So let me fire this up. Some of this Scotty's Wood's a little bit questionable. If it's, if it's too far gone, I'm going to just whip it over in the mom's pile. But I, yeah, I want to fill this area up. It'll probably give me about four face cords there, something like that. Four level truck loads or three Joe cords. This stuff's been sitting at Scotty's for a while. So as long as it's, got, it's solid on the inside, that looks solid enough to me. Now right there is not so hot, but this is good right here. Greg Wilson show up yet? See, Craig makes it to everyone now lately. Seems like. Yeah, Mike brought me all this hickory. He said it was dry. I thought I think it was more like semi-season. So I, I, I didn't want to ship it right out to a customer. Plus I'm so low on hickory anyway, I went ahead and brought it down here. It's over there. Tomorrow's supposed to be like nice and then the rain comes back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hard to get anything done when it's raining all the time. I know Brad agrees with that. This is a job uh, very uh, dependent on the weather. Maybe not so much for deliveries, but out producing the wood it, it is. And as you may or may not know, the uh, restaurant customer that I've been supplying Hickory to since 2016, they closed their doors on uh, the 8th. 
They just they still have a store open in Detroit. That's too far for me. So, but I do have I do have a lot of individuals that stop here or, or order and have me deliver to them hickory. Hickory is uh, the one species of wood that I like to get green because it doesn't last in the wild or on the ground, you know, when it dies and falls down, it, it rots too quick, but when you get it split and stacked, it lasts a lot longer. Might have to give the piece of this to mom. Yeah. Now that, that's too far gone. Going into mom's pile. Oh, and I uh, talked to Darren this morning. He wanted to know if I want to come down there and make a video. And I said, yeah, I would. But I go, it's going to rain. I go, hey, don't you follow the weather? He goes, yeah, I just heard it thunder. I go, well, that's why I'm not coming down. But I want to like to go down there because he's going to be cutting and dropping trees. We haven't we haven't did one of those videos in a while, but I probably wouldn't have a good enough signal down there to go live. You know, that's what I prefer doing. Just going live and have a chat with you occasionally. Occasionally check on there on the phone to see what you guys are saying. I also talked to Herb this morning. He was trying to get me to buy some oak, but it's green, and I go, I don't want green oak. It's got to be semi-season. You know, like this stuff. The bark halfway falling off. Green, oak that's green, takes, takes forever to dry. And in these wet conditions, it takes longer than for, forever. I think I'm going to have to whip this one down there. This too far gone. Ugh. I think I'm going to talk to Mike, see what he's doing Monday. Might go down and uh, fill him. Said there's some standing dead trees to drop. Down at Gall Lake where he cut me that load yesterday, he said one would be a real good video. So I said, don't don't cut it down until I'm down there. <laughs> like to make it into a video. I think it's been a couple days since I went live. Apologize, but you know, uh, I had a delivery to do. I did a delivery, what was it? Thursday afternoon. So I didn't didn't do anything Thursday. Well, because of the rain. And then it rained all day yesterday. You probably could tell just by looking, everything's all wet. It's probably kind of a dark screen for you, too. Not much light, not much lighting I got available to help with the video. This one looks, this looks all white like that. I think it's too far gone. I'll give it to mom. Probably could sell it as like regular wood though. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. I just check and see how many are watching. Oh, we got 20 watching. 
John Manning's here. John Manning's watching. Probably no Rogala. Rogala's been awful quiet lately. What about Henry Samsquatch? Henry Samsquatch probably watching. Now this is one that Mike brought me. You can see where it's white like that, it's not so good, but this is good right in here. Where it's solid. You know, I could probably lop this off, this white part off. We're gonna put this into two pieces. Kind of leaning. I think I'll put a shim on here. Straighten it out. Now I'm gonna split this punky part off. Give this to mom. Still got a little bit of good stuff here, but that's not enough. The rest, that's gone. Yep. Starts riding from the outside first, obviously. That's a good piece right there. Solid as a rock. That should produce some smoke. Oh. oh man. There's nothing light about hickory. Whew. Sending some of these kind of big, so I got there's enough solid smoking area. Might put some in, the, I think I would put a little bit more in the back row, you know, I'm not going to a certain size. We're not measuring it. I'm measuring it by how it's stored. It gets measured on how it's transported, whether it's my truck, a customer's truck, or customer's trailer. Wanted to do a delivery yesterday in the rain. There's a customer that I'd stack it in her garage, like I did for my delivery on um, Thursday, but she, she got hurt or fell down and she got in a car accident and she wasn't ready to help me. So I didn't do much yesterday, but watch it rain.
Didn't think this was going to be as solid as it is. I can ship it. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. Bigger piece. If the customer wants it any smaller, they can split it or cut it shorter. Cut it in half. This is how I'm set up to produce the firewood, just like this. I'll be selling it. You can see down there I've already sold some from over there. Well, I sell it, I'm selling it this way. So it'll give this, this stuff a little time to, to dry out. Well, today's sweetest day. I bet you Brad's taking Val out for dinner. Taking his bride Val out. Don't forget Sweetest Day. You guys will be in the doghouse. side split stack over here fill it up on this side I'm going to give you guys a different little different angle give you a little bit of a different angle there's Lino Lino's watching good morning Lino how you doing Judy Crow watching live or is she watching the replay there we go hey Daryl how's it going bud Traded in New Jersey too. Hopefully the weather's better there. But I think we might be sending this weather tour to you, you guys. Why am I on this side splitting? I, that's why I set those up. I'm supposed to split on the other side. Now I got to figure it out. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. But yeah, needless to say, we got a fire going. It is chilly out. When it rains, it just even makes it feel colder. That dampness. But I think they did say, like, hey, there's a chance of making up to 70 degrees. I need to make some bundles. I might do it then. I'm getting on my delivery. Out, uh, I don't know, three on the books to do. Tomorrow I'll be delivering a half core to a lo local customer. Of course, Phil hasn't been able to get in the woods to cut. Well, Mike, you know, Mike came on, uh, what day was that, Wednesday? He brought me this hickory. We did those live, that live stream, live stream. Whatever day that was, might have been even Thursday, I can't even remember now, it's hard to keep track. The days are the same. This will sit out here, this is semi-season, semi-season hickory, it'll be ready, be ready in a few months. back on this side for a minute fill in here warm my fingers up I know Mike bought me those uh, hand warmers but I'm saving that for when it's like winter time 
You know, and those, those one wouldn't fit in these leather, these small leather gloves. But yeah, yeah, this is the day Mike hurt his finger. I believe it was Wednesday, and uh, you know, after you know, when he came back to work, you watched that whole video. You would have seen us. We split these into manageable sizes. Somebody said, "Why did you just, why did you just split them there?" You know, I guess we could have put it back into his truck and came down here and stacked it. I mean, that would have worked too, but it would have taken longer. And then, uh, and I had, I had things I had to do that day. We had to do a delivery and pick up wood, and you know, we ended up working till like 3:30 that day. So. I didn't have time to do it that way. That's all foam. That can go to mom. Broke off there, but where it's like, you know, the dark color, it's good and solid. That's all they need for the smoking. Kind of looks like shack bark, but it kind of doesn't too. Real close though. Yeah, I think for the miles. I'm going to split the hickory I got over there. It's supposed to be nice weather for a change. One day, anyways. And uh, I'm going to split the rest of the hickory over there. And now I'm going to go up and uh, load the trailer with uh, wood from probably bay number two. Because i got to deliver a half cord. But Phil hasn't been out in the woods. He was, he was going to try to get me a, a load by yesterday. You know, I told him that on Wednesday, you know, I'm like, you better get out there by thir Thursday afternoon, it's going to rain, it's not going to stop till Sunday. He, he's always hounding me to buy off him when I don't have orders. Well, guess what? Now I have orders. Now I'm hounding him to produce it. Thing called supply and demand. My demand goes up in October. Firewood is feast or famine. In October, it's definitely a feast month. I think I might try splitting off the outside of this. You know, where it's kind of, see that junk? Well, I got most of that off there. The outside's kind of questionable, but the inside's definitely solid. But I got got rid of this. Mom could burn that. You can see it's solid in there. Now when it crumbles like that, you know it's not good. And that's why mom always gets it. You know what? That's solid enough. That's good. Probably not gonna happen. I have to go like this. Oh, 
Oh boy. Uh, no, they're split. Okay. For a minute, I thought this was one solid piece. But that's why we split it in half. I probably could have picked it up, but I strained myself. Why risk injury? Isn't that right, Denise Williams? Three more pieces. Got one big one. Victory ain't light, folks. Kind of angled on that end. Well, we're having a good Saturday so far. Or whatever day it is, if you're watching the replay, you got this far into it. I'm, I'm impressed. Anybody watches a replay, uh, you know, a half-hour video that's you know, or a live stream half hour long and you watch the replay of it a half hour that's a that's uh impressive yeah they're saying we might actually see the sun tomorrow i kind of forgot what it looks like i'm just gonna send this one as a big one in it end up breaking and then I'd have to give it to mom so it's just gonna be a bigger piece all right two more if you're just joining this this was a gap here you can kind of see where I've got everything in there filled that up Put and stack. I have to pick them up off the ground. Only when I'm loading the truck with it. That's one. the gas, kill the gas. Right. I'll show you what we got. Show you what we got. 
Hit that thumbs up, Mike Volk. You gotta be here representing Rogal. I don't think Rogal is here. But now you can see that's filled up in there. We got her all split. Union break time. Yeah, I didn't even take my union break. There's my drink and everything. I didn't even open it up, Billy. There it is. So uh, I would say there's probably four, at least four face cords or three over or, uh, Joe cords right there. And I got this to split tomorrow, which that'll probably be tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's live stream, and I got to go load my truck and do a delivery. I take on the delivery, but I will lose the signal. So we got to get this all the way filled up. Get that filled up. Got to find more hickory in that. So, all right, folks. I'm going to head in, put this stuff away, saving that so you have something to do tomorrow. You probably just don't want to watch me load my truck. So we'll have some exciting splitting going on tomorrow. So anyway, thanks uh, thanks for everybody who hit that thumbs up and made it to the end. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.